it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, please click that red subscribe button down below and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you guys don't already know, I post videos three times a week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so you guys are sure to find something you love right here on my channel, Carolina's Crafts. In today's video, I want to show you guys something super exciting. So I made a DIY natural bug spray. Summertime is coming, mosquitoes are coming out, bugs are coming out, flies, spiders, everything. They're all coming out and they're looking for your blood, girl. They're looking for your blood. I normally don't get bitten by mosquitoes. I mean, sometimes I have that year where I get like bitten up like crazy, but most of the time they just don't love my blood. They do, however, love, love, love my boyfriend's blood and I just needed to make some DIY bug spray. I still use bug spray regardless. Maybe that's why they just don't bite me because I normally just use crazy amounts of bug spray. So they just don't go near me because I'm just so scared. I don't want to be itching myself all summer long and then getting scabs from itching and then it's just not cute. So I made natural DIY bug spray and you guys can totally use this this summer. It's very easy to make only maybe like five ingredients I think it was. So basically you're just gonna need witch hazel, distilled water, and then some essential oils. I will let you guys know which essential oils are best for mosquitoes but which ones are also good for other bugs as well. The number one essential oil I do recommend for mosquitoes is the lemon eucalyptus. I bought all the ingredients online on Amazon so if you guys are looking to purchase anything I will have all the links down below for you guys. But lemon eucalyptus is the best for mosquitoes. For some reason they just don't like lemon eucalyptus essential oil so definitely put that one in your essential oil that's like the top one that I definitely recommend some other common essential oils for mosquitoes is citronella lemongrass eucalyptus geranium which I next time will probably make it with geranium because that one smells like a flower and I think that would smell really really pretty as well so I'll probably do a geranium one next time and lavender as well which is another ingredient I have in mine so those are like the main ones for mosquitoes that you guys will see all over the internet there's also a couple of other ones that are good for mosquitoes which include thyme and sage and basil and rosemary so there's plenty of essential oils you guys can use if you guys have any of those other ones on hand you could just include it in your bug spray some essential oils that are good for repelling flies includes basil, cedarwood, cinnamon bark, citronella, eucalyptus is an amazing one for flies as well as it is for mosquitoes. There's also lavender, patchouli, peppermint, rosemary, and spearmint are also really really good for flies. For ticks, you have lemongrass, eucalyptus, lavender, rosemary, sage, and thyme. So those are good for ticks. A lot of these overlap, so if you guys are looking for one that is perfect for all three, I would definitely recommend rosemary, lemongrass, lavender, and eucalyptus. Now, one thing you guys do have to be careful with essential oils is that they're not always good for children under a certain age. So definitely do some research before you guys are making a bug spray if you guys are spraying it on your kids. I also don't recommend spraying it directly on a child's skin if they're under the age of two. I would recommend spraying it on their clothes. But again, do the research because not all essential oils are really good for children under a certain age. So definitely do some research before you go making anything with essential oils, not just a bug spray, but anything you make with an essential oil is not always good for certain kids at a certain age so definitely do your research beforehand I don't want any child getting hurt or anything like that do your research so just do your research if you guys are planning on making a bug spray and using it on kids as well so now let's just get into this video and I'll show you guys how to make your very own DIY natural bug spray so for this video, you're going to need a four ounce spray bottle, two ounces of witch hazel, two ounces of distilled water, and just some essential oils. I chose a lavender, lemongrass, citronella, and lemon eucalyptus. You're going to open up your spray bottles and you're first gonna add in two ounces of witch hazel. And then you're gonna add in two ounces of distilled water, but make sure to leave some room at the top because you do need to shake the bottle before each use. I'm adding in 15 drops of lavender. Then I'm also adding in 15 drops of lemon and eucalyptus blend essential oil, 10 drops of citronella, and 10 drops of lemongrass. Once you have all your ingredients in the bottle, just screw the top back on and you're going to shake it well. You can also add a label to your bug spray like I did which just says natural bug spray and it says shake well before each use. I also gave these out to some friends and family members so I definitely wanted to make sure to have that label on there. And then I just put some clear packing tape over the label just so the label doesn't get wet or anything and you're done with your natural bug spray. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to make this DIY natural bug spray. I also made a cute little label. I just made it with my silhouette machine, but you could also just cut out any shape with like a paper and stick it on there. I also put on some tape, like clear tape over it, just to make it like waterproof. So if water gets on it or if any bug spray gets on it, my label's not gonna come off. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe from all the bugs, mosquitoes, uh, flies, and ticks. I absolutely hate, hate, hate bugs. So stay safe from all of those and just stay away from them. Hopefully they won't want your blood once you got this natural DIY bug spray on you. But let me know how it goes if you guys do try it out. And I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, don't forget to click that red subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.